Look at that. Let me finish drying it off. Nice, fresh, clean. I mean, what else could I ask for? I do need to put some tire shine on it though. Look at these tires. You see that? They can use some tire shine, right? The wheels are still wet and I didn't dry those off, but I did at least dry off the rest of the car. I need to dry off those door handles, but yeah, everything looks pretty good. I need new tires, if you can see that. I only have like maybe 10,000 miles. This car already needs new tires. Honestly, uh, kind of questionable. I'm usually just driving however I feel like it. Uh, of course, following the rules of the road. But yeah, y'all are about to see exactly how I drive. Uh, hopefully I can keep it together. No road rage. What is going on? Hold on, let me open the sunroof all the way. But yeah, I usually drive like this. That's how it looks from the outside. See that? Damn, she mean. Look at that. You can't tell me this is not a beautiful car. So slept on. So, so slept on. This car kind of reminds me of a Dodge Charger. I don't know why. But I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the design of this car more than a Charger. I mean, the Charger is definitely a more powerful car. But this thing right here, the design language is just something else. It's crazy. Okay, I just had to turn the Bluetooth. I mean, not the Bluetooth. I had to turn the whole car off because it keep connecting to the Bluetooth. And I'm not about to let this just keep interrupting me in my video. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. What do y'all think of the looks of this? Like I said, are so slept on. Tires up front don't look too bad. They're really not too bad, but the ones in the back need some help for sure. Look at that. I need some spacers badly. If y'all have recommendations for modification that I should do on this car, let me know. This is kind of dirty, ain't it? But I'm gonna put some tire shine on here. Yeah, y'all probably about to see a POV drive. Let's see, it's probably gonna be night by the time I make this, cause I'm at work right now. I just stepped out to make this short little clip. Uh, so I'm gonna go put some tire shine on and see what that looks like afterwards. Actually, y'all might wanna drive over there with me, so I'll just take y'all. It's like 30 seconds from here. Um, but let's put some tire shine on, see what that looks like, and uh, we'll be right back, yeah. All right, we got the tire shine applied now. Let me know in the comment section. Can you tell the difference? It might be hard to tell just because it's so dark out here, but look at this. I just love the look of like some shiny tires. It really makes the difference. You can have a car that's completely clean with some dusty looking tires and the whole car just, it doesn't give that same effect. And I guess it's time for a drive. Hold on, I learned my lesson. So I turned off the uh, the uh, Bluetooth so that way it doesn't stop my video while I'm driving. Turn off the parking brake and let's go. Let's do this. I was gonna do a pull, but there's actually a cop right there that just did a U-turn. So I'm gonna wait till I get off this road. Maybe I won't. I won't wait. I was too impatient. So let me put this window up so people don't see me with this big thing strapped to my forehead. I'm trying so hard to change my words so I don't curse on YouTube, but half the time it just makes me sound stupid because I'm sounding like I can't even talk. If it ever sounds like I'm stuck on a sentence and I can't talk, literally that's all that it is, is that I'm trying to change my words so that it's appropriate for YouTube. Or maybe I actually am stuck on my words, who knows? I'm gonna make this right turn. There's too much traffic going forward. Hopefully none of these people turn right. All right, cool, we good. There's people.
people in their crosswalk right there. Let's let them through. That was pretty fun, right? I'm trying to make these videos a little bit more interesting. I'm trying to talk a little bit more in them. But man, let me tell you, it's kind of hard to think about stuff to talk about when there's nobody talking back to you. Like my other videos, I had a plan on what I was going to say. But in these videos, I have no idea what I'm going to say. It's another black Jetta right here. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, I know exactly who that is in that black Jetta, actually. That's my coworker. It's not a GLI, though. Oh, damn, I ran over something. If I just stayed in my lane, I could have missed it. I like to do those downshifts manually myself, but for some reason, I feel like that's really bad for the car. Is it? Let me know in the comment section. Let me tilt this down a little bit because I feel like it's pointed way too high. Hopefully it wasn't like pointed at the ceiling the whole time. I just noticed I couldn't see any of the gauges in that video. All right, let's put the window down just a little bit like that. Let's uh, do a mini pull. That's more than good enough. This car gets up. I don't care what nobody says. This car is a sleeper. Like I said, we are in Mexico. But it's all good. Yeah, nobody can tell me this car is not a sleeper. Nobody. Like, do you see what I was just able to do? This car is $30,000. There are some cars out there that are in the same price point that don't have this level of performance. Honest, I'm going to talk trash. If you have a Honda Civic Si, line it up because I want all the smoke. I want all the smoke. See, why are you getting over? Like, what was your reason for this because now i'm gonna ride right up on on purpose just to be an ass because that's what you did like I, I mentioned before i have road rage like i had to ride up on that guy's tail because he cut me off i had to cut him back off because he cut me off let's put that back in uh sport mode i wish i can i should have got five percent tent so I can be in here doing anything. This little 20% tent, everybody say it's super dark, but to be honest, people if people can see inside, then it's not dark to me. During the day, almost nobody can see inside, but at night, if I was to put the flashlight on, on my phone right now, people could definitely see me. But 5%, it's questionable whether they will be able to actually see me or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have that question. I want to have it a certainty. And not that it really matters. I mean, 
if I'm recording, I got this huge thing strapped to my forehead and I'm driving on the highway, somebody's gonna see me probably for a split second and then it's gonna be all good. But I mean, even if they see me, it doesn't really matter, but it just, it's just that mindset of dang, I'm out here really looking goofy with this thing strapped to my forehead. And it's even worse because I don't have like a, per oh shoot, that's a cop. I know it's not. Uh, it's even worse because I don't have like a professional camera or anything. I'm using my iPhone and my iPhone is strapped to my forehead. And why is there traffic every time I record? What is going on, bro? Literally every single time I record a POV video, there's traffic. I don't get it. And the reason I don't get it is because every time I'm not recording one of these POV videos, it's like I just get home nice, smooth, easy, carefree. It doesn't matter. Yesterday was a perfect day to record a POV video. And I didn't because I thought it was just going to be, you know, just like this every day. I thought, hey, they repaved the highway is done now, so I don't have to worry about traffic no more. Nope, look at this, bro. And it's not that bad. I'm rolling at nine miles per hour. Compared to 55 miles per hour, that's really bad. But I mean, I've had days where I was literally not moving at all. And it took me an extra 30 minutes to an hour to get home. The other day it took me until 11 p.m. to get home. And I got off work at nine. Just let that sink in. 11 p.m. to nine. Two hours worth of driving. For context, it usually takes me 30 minutes to get home. But yeah, if you didn't enjoy it, make sure you leave a comment down below. Why wouldn't you leave a comment? I've been asking you this entire video to leave a comment. And make sure you go smack the like button too. And yeah, I'm Waveman Mike. Subscribe, comment, and like. Enjoy your day.